Hello and welcome to lesson 12. This part of the lesson we are going to work on the sprites. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit because of time and I'm going to in some of these script videos that we get into just so the videos are shortened and we can maximize the amount of um, instruction that's happening in the video. I will some of these start off with some script blocks already out. So in this case of the bananas, I have script blocks already out. But I want to show you how we're going to get this monkey to move back and forth with our arrow keys, our left arrow and our right arrow. So I need to grab two of these under the control blocks, two of these when space key pressed. And you see this little arrow pointing down here. I can change that. If I click that space, I can change that to we need one left arrow and one right arrow right arrow okay now we're gonna go over here to motion and with the left arrow we want to drag out two of these change X buys so we'll find the change X by here it is and we'll connect them up in there change X by and we know to move left we want to say minus from some of our first few lessons so to move left we have minus 10 and to move right we have plus 10 so now when I click the left arrow my monkey should move left and the right arrow my monkey should move right okay so now we want to work on the banana that's going to be falling now the banana is going to have a few main blocks one we're going to start this game off in what we call a game loop and so the green flag is going to be how we start this game it's going to start the game loop and in this case we're going to need a forever loop because this this banana is going to forever be doing something and in our case it's going to forever be changing its position so it's going to be falling and so if you look in here you will see a change y by minus 10 or actually a change y by 10 but since it's falling down we're going to put minus 10 and we're going to stick that right in the forever now if I start this you'll see it falls and it stops and I can pick it up move it it'll fall and it'll stop pick it up move it it'll fall and it'll stop that's not exactly what we want. What we want is if this thing is touching something to do something. So the first thing we're going to say is if it's touching the ground, remember the ground sprite we created? So if it's touching the ground, which is called sprite 3, we want it to do something. And I want two of these because I want it to do something if it touches the ground and something else if it touches the monkey, which is called sprite 1. So I'm going to click my little duplicate and I'm going to click that and now I have two of them and I'm just going to go ahead and hook them together in both of these cases I want this thing to whatever it does I still want it to go up in one case it's going to keep a score and it's going to add a score we haven't don't have a variable yet but I'll show you where we do that um, so we know that we want it to come back to the top so we're going to put it right back up to Y180 which if you look right down in here right there you'll see y180 is the top that's why we have y180 but x we want it to be more random so we want it to not always go up in the same position across the x-axis so we're gonna do a, a pick random from our operators and we got that out of here this right here and I know that across the x we have if you look right down here right there x we have a minus 236 it's probably you know anywhere in that range to a plus 236 and so that's where this is coming from so I'm gonna go ahead and wide that right in there you see how that slid right in there and actually this touching I'll show you where that came from if you go to sensing and you see touching it's that one right there right on the top and you'll see it's shaped like a diamond so it fits right in there now I want to duplicate this one for each if there and there we're going to slide this up in the forever loop now we're going to click our green flag and you'll see it you'll see our banana continue to fall like that and it's going to do that whether it touches the monkey or whether it touches the ground okay okay so we almost have everything what we need to do now is we mentioned variables in some of our previous lessons and we're going to create a variable and we want to call this variable score and you can go ahead and just make it for all sprites it doesn't matter right now so score you'll notice right up here in the left hand corner we now see our score variable if you double click it 
twice, you will get just the score value. If you want it to say score out beside it, double click it till you get this look again. So that's what we've got there. I want to take this and I want to set score to zero when the green flag is clicked. And then if it's touching sprite three, which is the ground, let's bring two of these out. Not set score, but change score by one. Two of these change scores by one. And the first one, if it's touching sprite three, nope, we want to change that. Sprite three and change this one to sprite one because that's our monkey. We can change these two. I can change them right here if I wanted to call that monkey instead of sprite one. I just type in monkey. Okay, back to our banana. Now if our banana is touching sprite one, we want to increase the value by one. And let's see how I put it right within that if bracket touching sprite one, if touching sprite three, which is the ground. We want to subtract a point. Now, another thing we can do to make this game either easier or harder is we can change this y value. Um, a smaller value, say minus 5, is going to make it move slower. And a larger value is going to make it move faster. So I'm going to go ahead and click this green flag, and you see it. Oops, I've already got minus a point, and it's already pretty hard. So I want to do this, and I want to make my monkey move a little faster. So instead of minus 10, I'm going to put minus 20. And plus 20. Now he'll move much faster. There we go. Now I can actually catch the catch the bananas with that. And I've got three points. There, took one away. Now, there we go. So that's our game in a nutshell. Now if we wanted, we could also make this much harder by creating more bananas. See how I'm just clicking this and clicking the bananas? Clicking this, clicking the bananas. Now let's start the green flag. We'll have bananas everywhere. See that? That's how you can kind of take your game and make it a little harder or a little easier. So that is a monkey catch game. Remember, create yours. Once you have it created, you're going to click this little share project. You're going to log in with, with your Scratch project, your, your Scratch website name, your password, the name, some project notes, and then OK, and then we'll publish it. So that is the Monkey Catch Game.